Welcome back. This is Six Round Studio. I'm Bill. Today we're going to continue talking about the 1905 Ithaca shotgun restoration. Now we have a lot of work done on this thing and the, the, the largest amount of time and effort has been concentrated on the buttstock. Now there was a lot of, lot of things wrong with this. The, the, the inletting was cracked in several different directions. There were broken ears, so we've repaired all of that. We had to rebuild or reconstruct these um, side panels. Those came out really nice. We also had to rechecker. We pointed up the checkering on this left side, and then uh, we ended up uh, having to recreate the checkering on the right side, so we've gotten that done it looks really nice now our next step on this is to sand it down and then get it ready for color and final finish we're a little bit away from that yet now one thing that I have done is I've ordered a replacement butt pad for this um, for this stock now the one that came with it uh, is significantly damaged and used and worn it's got a big chip on the on the end of it and all of the logo inside of here has has disappeared. I want to get that installed and then make sure I've sanded it or match sanded the pad to, to the stock itself. So we're going to get that done. The next thing that has to happen is we need to color this and get it so that it matches the forearm. Now I haven't done anything with the forearm yet and I did did that for a very specific reason. This is about as original as it as it comes. Uh, it is a numbered forearm. It matches the, all the parts on the on the gun. Now, in my heart, I'd really like to leave this just the way it is because the color on this is beautiful. The finish on this is beautiful. But ultimately, I think it's going to become a distraction to the rest of the restoration um, because a, a lot of this, I, I'm going to match the color to this, but I'm not going to be able to get it uh, exact or perfect. Anyway, um, why I've left this at this point is I have to recolor this or I have to color this to get that color so that it is is something close to, to that original color. And again, uh, as I said, the, this, is, this is stunning. It's a really great representation of what that color was. There's still some checkering that, that this, this has been a well-used shotgun. It's been handled a lot and a lot of that checkering is, is worn down as well. So I wanna go back and, and repoint the checkering on this. But I don't wanna do that, as I said, until I've got the buttstock complete because with the buttstock being complete, um, then I can, uh, I'll recolor this trying to match this. And at that point, it's going to be easier for me to match the forearm to the buttstock than the other way around. Here's the deal. Now we've been talking about this now from, from day one, the amount of oil that is in the stock. So I took a Q-tip and I don't know if you can see the dirt on that Q-tip, but I'm still getting oil out of this. If you can see right here, it's still, there's a lot of oil that I need to, to get out. I'm never going to get it all out. Yeah, I mean, there's just so much, so much oil in here. So I'll be doing that over the next few days, um, doing a combination of um, removing the oils with the acetone. I'll probably sand this down to 220 as opposed to 320. Uh, I'm not sure that I'm going to get any advantage out of going any finer than that. I've got all the metal put on, um, so I've got the trigger guard on. And right now, that fit is almost line perfect, uh, and that's, that's good. So I'm going to, again, because I've already done the base sanding, I'll finish this up with the, with the uh, 220 and feel fairly confident that I'm not going to take the wood down below the metal. I still have to polish the metal. So once I've got the wood all completely sanded, uh, then I can begin to polish the metal and then put that metal in and out of the, 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 the stock as it's finished 
and then make sure that uh, all my metal is, is as close to match sanded as it can be. Um, so we're going to, at this point, we're going to start doing both metal work and the woodwork at the same time. So the next thing I want to talk about, I've still got a few um, evidences of the gun's history. I have a few, you know, minor, minor dings, a few, um, a few pieces or a few places where it's discolored. And I've been debating with myself whether or not I want to, to take those out completely. When I do restorations, um, I can do it in different levels. I can take it all the way to a full custom finish. And I, I'm, I'm reluctant in this regards to do that. Uh, this is not a custom, this is not a custom. Um, and again, you know, in restoration, you try to honor the past as much as you can, but try not to take all the, all the history away so that it looks like it's a well cared for but used um, firearm, and I think I think we can accomplish that with this. This is this is my thinking right now. This is where I think I want to take this. So I am going to I'm going to continue to sand this, but I'm thinking that I'm not going to try and take out every every blemish that's here um, because. At the end, once I've gotten the new finish on, once I've gotten the color on, my, my hope, my goal is that we, we get this visual impact that, again, looks like it's a, a, it's a, it's a well-cared-for used shotgun. And, and that's my goal in all of this. And, I, and I'm going to try and go after that all the way up through all of the metal work as well. Uh, anyway, uh, so my plan over the next few days is just to continue... Um, trying to pull out some of that oil and at the same time that I'm pulling out the oil going over it with the sandpaper trying to get that that wood for those wood fibers down to that 300 uh, that 220 grit paper And of course, I have to be careful now that I don't run into my checkering. <laughs> um, so once we've got the stock sanded down to that 220 grit, at that point, we're just going to set it aside. Then I'm going to start working on the receiver and the trigger guard to make sure that uh, if I have to take any of the wood down anymore, that, that I've got those, those finishes, those surfaces, uh, matched as closely as as is necessary to give the uh, client a good restoration. All right. So short update this week. Uh, this is getting exciting at this point. I've gotten probably the the, the major part of this repair done. The uh, the pace of this should begin to pick up. I should be able to start moving this thing forward. Uh, at a at a much quicker rate. Um, these repairs were these repairs were a nightmare. There was just so many that had to be done. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I am on my own march to 5,000 subs. Um, this is still a pretty small channel, and I'm still trying to grow it. I'm still trying to get this information out to more folks. Uh, restoration uh, ant or vintage gun work is a dying. It's a dying. It's a dying skill, and uh, getting that information out is something I like to do. So, 5,000 if you could sub if you haven't already, I appreciate it. Ring the bell so you get notified the next time I post a video. That way, you get to see more as, as it comes available. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video.